Hey guys, I'm Matt Lighty, and I just want to make this brief video uh, talking about something because you, you'll probably see it on stream and uh, just notice me playing it and yada yada. So uh, M Monday the 28th, so like tomorrow morning pretty much for me, is when the RuneScape 3, which is just normal RuneScape, so not old school RuneScape, um, comes out with group Iron Man mode. I'm currently rendering all for one now. And uh, the reason I, I mentioned this is this is like some all-for-one lore for those who are interested. So obviously all-for-one's been going on for like, whatever, three, four, four years now, something like that. Going great, making progress, 98% complete legally. But the reason all-for-one started actually has to do with RuneScape. So RuneScape, not old school RuneScape, RuneScape 3 is a game that transitioned from RuneScape 2, from RuneScape 1 to RuneScape Classic over the years, almost 20 plus years, yada, yada. And I had an Iron Man account in RuneScape, Iron Man game mode being what is like solo self on and PoE. So you can't trade around with other players. You kind of do yourself on your own. You could like do certain raid content with material, like with a group if, you know, they were also Iron Man, et cetera. But for the most part, you're just solo self in. And I had a very progressed account. I had um, all of my skills were maxed. I had a completionist cape, which means like I've done... You know, every, it's like at POE if I did 40-40 on every challenge from the beginning. Like, I had it all. And um, my account got hacked, right? And four and a half, five years ago, my account got hacked. And I had a I had two-step. I had Authenticator. It's just Jagex shit company. It's like getting a fucking Blizzard account hacked. It's like, you, get, you know, or POE account. Like, you get wiped, you're fucked. These games would have live service, eat shit. Fine. All right, cool. Depressed. Not happy. So I was like, well... I got some time to fill now in the same slot I was playing this game, and I was already playing PoE since you know twelve years ago. So I just I was I was like, all right, I'll make a series. I thought about the kind of stuff I did in RuneScape, which was collecting items and like getting the collection logs and all that stuff. And I was like, well, you know, Path of Exile just is now introducing this unique tab, and I could maybe fill that. And that's literally what started all for one. So without RuneScape specifically without my account being hacked by some rando in runescape and you know totally deleting every item i had and all that stuff there wouldn't be all for one so it's a bit you know it's full circle it's the circle of life so i digress so the group iron man's coming out playing with me and like four other people we're playing pretty casually rs3 versus old school runescape for those who don't know is imagine if you know RuneScape's combat system was merged with like an MMO like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy, and there was three times as many quests and three times as many content, and the game was a lot bigger. And uh, is 3D versus like kind of 2D how it's drawn? That's RS3. You'll see it on screen, um, maybe, or maybe I'll even add this. Now nah, I won't even add. It. Just come watch stream tomorrow, or just if there's a video I put out, watch that. And uh, that's what RS3 looks like. Yada yada. Okay, so the group environment. I'm playing with some people. And uh, I'm just going to briefly go over, like, what my game plan is. If you don't know RuneScape and you just want to hear the all for one lore, you could totally stop watching the video now. That that, por that portion's over. Now I'm just going to talk about my loose plan amongst my group in, in our Iron Man, which I'll be streaming for the next, like, week or so. And then I might do, like, I won't really do a series on, but I'll do, like, some video stuff on it. But nothing to the extent of, like the all for one series or even like the, the OSR series. Like those are going to be, those are still the main, the flagships. All right. So my plan is uh, there's a guy named the RS guy. He's been around for a while. He put out a basic item and progression guide. This is basically the copy pasta for OSRS's rune light uh, quest progression system, where it's like, it tells you pretty much step by step what to do in a pretty good order to get through the basis of the game. And it's broken down into multiple parts. So I'm going to follow this for like the first 50 steps. Um, just like the part one section, and I'm going to dive diverge from there because I'm going to be focusing for the first week on mining and smithing because I like melee in RuneScape. Um, particularly, I'm, I'm more partial to melee. The other combat styles being mage, range, and necromancy. Necromancy or mage are the recommended ones at the beginning of the game, but I, I just like melee. So I wanted to do a cool melee thing for the group and like focus on smithing and mining. So I'm just going to do the first like basic steps, which is like just a lot of shit quests and get a couple skills, get some early experience lamps, some easy quest points, yada, yada, yada. Just kind of work my way through that. And it ends with Dragon Slayer, which is kind of a, you know, a very fun end quest. This way I'll end the, I'll end this portion with like, you know, maybe like 20, 30 all stats and like 40 ish in melee combat. And then from there, I'm going to engage with mining. I'm um, just pretty much going to do mining as you would 
in in summary progressing from ore to ore to ore so like do copper then tin then iron then coal then mithril and it, the mining smithing rework in r3 made it very fun linear chillaxing thing so i'm just going to work my way through the different types of ore as they go up up and up and up and up and up and uh and then eventually you can get these primal rocks and all this crazy stuff. But for me, I'm just going to hope to land around the runite section. So I want to, by like the first day or two, get to about 50 or 60 uh, mining and then do the same for smithing. But smithing's a little bit different. Pretty much you just kind of get your way because um, the knight sword quest gets you right to 30. And it's just kind of get to 40 because once you're at 40, you can start doing the artisan's workshop, which is the main smithing area, kind of like hub and you do all my stuff there. So I'm gonna be focusing on getting that there and working my way smithing again through the different uh, reward types and uh, unlocking all the smithing things like the smithing outfit so I can smith better, all that jazz. And eventually I'll probably unlock these MTXs you can get for like these armor sets. They're pretty cool looking. There's like the Necronium one. Um, so you can have like these cosmetic overrides. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna focus on that and then just get my, get my smithing going so I could uh, start smithing you know, some cool armor. I think I want to probably do, where is it? I want to do at least up to rune bars, uh, which gets you full rune. This is what full rune looks like. And then maybe if I'm feeling frisky, I'll push for aura calcum. Aura calcum is pretty cool also. So there's aura calcum. And uh, for weapons, again, like these different bars have different weapon types. So aura calcum is the two hand warhammer. So I'll be rocking that for a little bit. That big bonker. Love it. Look at that big old bonker. Yeah, so I'm just going to delve into the smithing mining for the first, like, day or two and um, do a bunch of melee, and then I'll pretty much just pick up this basic quest progression as I move on to the next set, and there's part two and part three and part four and f five, and it just keeps on going, and, like, you're just, like, working your way through these quests and then trying to get all the, the goodies. Um, ending with Sliske's Endgame, the fucking mega quest, you know? So, uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll be going through this as the week progresses. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I am very, like, extremely knowledgeable with RuneScape up until five years ago. I, obviously, when my account got hacked, everything was stripped. I didn't really pay attention past then. But I know so much since then. I haven't touched Necromancy at all. I haven't touched any new quests or new content since that point of time. So that'll all be new for me, but I haven't played it in a counter and progressed through it in a long time. I always recommend, like, people ask, oh, if should I play RuneScape or should I play old school RuneScape? And uh, I honestly typically recommend just regular RuneScape. It's a lot more palatable. The amount of time you could spend AFK on skills is more of like a second monitor or like tablet slash phone activity is way higher. Um, doing things like mining or smithing, you might even on certain rocks like click once and then like, you know, tab out for like fucking 10 minutes and like get to do something else. If you're looking for like that sort of content in the game, it's very nice. And uh, it just lets you kind of like, if you want to spend time doing something active, you can. If you want to spend some time doing that's like very AFK and low clicking. That has an option that doesn't really work in our OSRS in the same way, not nearly as much. So it's just like a much better game if I'm like playing Path or editing or working on something else. I could have that going in the second monitor. So that's that. Um, and yeah, that's basically the entire point of this video. So look for that. I'll be streaming it um, this entire week and uh, enjoying enjoying that grind and uh there'll be a video you know probably at the end of it in a couple days just like just some clips maybe here or there or just maybe just live stream clips I'm not sure what form the content will take but um my, myself and some of the other group members will start doing some sort of stuff together and that'll be you know that'll be some stuff to record so that's it um have a good day have a good week enjoy the episode of all for one which should be out by now and then um if not i'll catch you in the live stream otherwise hit me up at discord etc i'm matt lady and have a good day Bye bye